welcome members to the fourth meeting in 2015 of the Standards, Procedures and Public uh, Appointments Committee, reminding everyone to switch off mobile phones as they can affect the broadcasting system. Uh, first item uh, on our agenda today is for members to consider some guidance on supporting constituents and to consider whether reference to equalities considerations should be added to the Code of Conduct. Uh, does anyone wish to make any comment on that? Sorry, I'm not trying to be picky, and I understand why this is here, but and I think it's right. But um, I just wonder, it, it, constituents won't always declare that they have a mental health issue, and sometimes it's the people who uh, either don't want to tell you or actually haven't been diagnosed who are the most difficult to try to help. Um, so... I just wondered whether we need to perhaps say something about uh, a scenario where perhaps a member suspects that there may be a, a problem of that. I mean, it's not just people with mental health problems, it's people with problems of a, of a, you know, a whole range of things I can think of um, where you, you maybe have to just stop and think about whether your approach is absolutely uh, the right and most helpful one in the circumstances. So I just wondered whether we need to just have some acknowledgement of that difficulty. The, um, the guidance that's, that's referred to in the, the draft section being proposed to the committee yeah. tries to cover those sensitivities as far yeah. as is useful. Um, there's a section about trying to, trying to recognise different forms of disorder um, and also how can I suggest to a constituent that they need help with their mental health, so very sensitive situations yeah. like that. But it might be that um, some more of that information could be covered in the, the bit of volume three that we've got yeah. in the paper. I, I think, convener, if, if at least there's a, a, a reference to a linkage or you know, that it, it's referred to in some way, I think that would be helpful. I'll certainly add that in. Thank you. Um, yes, I've, I've been referred on a previous occasion by a constituent with severe, very severe mental health problems. And, and in relation to this individual, two other MSPs have also been referred. But in each case, um, the, the committee has been, the clerks anyway, on behalf of the then committee have been quite clear. Um, it also raises the issue, of course, of the safety of members and our staff. Uh, but this is not the proper place to make reference to that um, because some some mental health issues can be severe enough that, that is, at the end of the day they, we've got to judge it as we see it and be aware that we we have places we can go to get assistance on the matter and I think that's really what it's about but I think what uh, Patricia Ferguson said is helpful and we'll, we'll take account of that um, our committee content that I agree changes in the light of those remarks uh, and we proceed from there yep okay uh, thank you very much indeed so we're agreed to the wording subject to that and that ends the public part of the meeting